Sometimes I talk back to my voices. I'll say, I'm going to be fine. Because a lot of the times, the voices will tell me that I'm going to go back into hospital. And it's like they know that's a fear of mine to be sectioned again. And I would say to the voice that I'm going to be fine. One of my favorites is saying that um, I'm, not, I'm not afraid. That's a big thing that I enjoy, saying I'm not afraid. I would describe the character of the voice or the voices as quite, they remind me of a bully, um, someone who doesn't want to see the best in others, maybe sometimes jealous, um, someone who's quite petty and will talk about your smallest insecurities and make you feel like you're so little. If um, someone is going through um, a difficult experience, if they, you're experiencing schizophrenia or any other mental health condition, it's important to know that you have hope, your story isn't over, you, you don't have to give up or um, just know that you can sometimes th good things can come out of awful situations and that's something that isn't always clear at the beginning of the road but once you go through everything you'll meet people along the way that may support you some people may not but you can learn different lessons from every situation and there's always time there's always um, an opportunity to see the positive out of negative situations. My identity isn't just um, confined in schizophrenia. I'm a, a person that has a life, a family, friends, and um, there's so many things that give me joy in life. So I think it's just knowing that schizophrenia is, um, it's too sim it, you can't com explain, explain it with just um, a paper. It's really, individual people experience it in different ways.